Welcome back to my channel. My name is Altred. This is Feed the Mind TV. Why questions are very important to us. If people in ancient times or during the old days did not ask these questions or attempt to answer these questions, we would have very limited knowledge about many things in our world. The reason why we have all the new technology today, it is because of the why questions. Yun yung mga tinatanong ng mga nagdi-discover about the technology, about kung ano yung mga bagay na dapat nating malaman. And then, we will be able to use all those knowledge, all those answers to those questions to make our life easier today. So, addressing why questions, it means providing explanations. Explanation essay is one such example of a written piece of work that addresses the why questions. It explains a particular topic to its readers. Since it is meant to inform or educate the readers, the essay should present convincing and adequate support for the explanation. So when you are trying to write an essay, you have to address or to answer the question, Why? Bakit? Bakit ito yung topic mo? You have to explain the reason behind that topic. You have to explain kung ano yung topic na sinasabi mo. Because when you try to do or to make an explanation essay, you are trying to inform, you are trying to educate your audience. You are trying to tell them something, to explain them something sa mga readers mo. So yung features at quality ng explanation essay mo should be very convincing. It should have a supporting document, supporting facts for your explanation. That way, your audience or your readers will be able to believe what you are trying to tell them. You have to use your explanation to appeal not just to their emotion, but it should be appealing to the reason. Kailang may reason sila to believe on what you are saying. Kasi yung mga readers, they will agree on what you are trying to tell them. You will be able to convince them kung may mga supporting documents ka kung may mga supporting facts ka about dun sa topic mo. Because yung mga readers, yung mga audience today, they are very smart. You cannot just tell them to believe you nang wala lang. They will only be in your side kung alam nila na kapanipaniwala yung sinasabi mo. And that's the good thing about writing an explanation essay because you have a chance to prove kung ano ba yung gusto mong sabihin. You have the chance to tell them yung reason bakit kailangan nilang mag-agree sa sinasabi mo. So when you try to write an explanation essay, you should have a strong statement. You should have a well-organized supporting facts about dun sa topic. And when you have all those quality in terms of writing an explanation essay, I'm pretty sure that you will be able to convince your readers. You will be able to get the attention of your listeners. So this is just one of the example of explanation essay, mention of many languages by Danton Remoto. So when you see in the first paragraph, let me read it to you. In 1977, my mentor, the national artist for literature and theater, Rolando Estenio said, it is too simple-minded to suppose that enthusiasm for Filipino as lingo franca a national language of the country necessarily involves the elimination of English usage or training for it in the schools. Proficiency in English provides us with all the advantages that champions of English say it does. Access to the vast fund of culture expressed in it. Mobility in various spheres of the international sin, especially those dominated by the English-speaking Americans and participation in the quality of modern life of which some features may be assimilated by us with great advantage. So yung first paragraph here, the author or the writer really have a strong statement from Rolando Estenio about the English language. And this is a very good opening statement when it comes to making an explanation essay. Same thing goes with the second paragraph. And after that, on the fourth paragraph, the author said the question why. So this is where 
nag-start na yung explanation niya. And all the following statement, all the following paragraph, it's all about explaining. It's all about convincing the listeners. So here, after the statement, let me explain. These are the following explanation wherein the writer tells about the reason why ganun yung statement niya. But ganun yung sinasabi niya sa first part. And this will help the author or the writer to convince and to educate the listeners. So in the last part of the essay, the writer said, To end in a full circle, we must return to Rolando Estin, who said, Only the mastery of the first language enables one to master a second and a third. So one can think and feel only in one's first language, then encode those thoughts and feelings in a second and third. In short, as a friend and fellow professor has put it, the Philippines is a multilingual paradise. The earlier we know we live in a paradise of many languages, the better we can say for its fruits ripened by the sun. So ito na yung pinaka-summary, ito na yung pinaka-very strong statement coming from the writer about the whole statement, about the whole explanation essay, ni wrap up na niya. And that's how you should write the last part of your explanation essay. So by knowing all the features, by knowing how to write an explanation essay, it's easier for you as a writer to convince yung mga listener mo, to convince yung mga readers ng isang explanation essay mo. So you should have first a strong statement on the first part, then after that, the explanation on the middle part, and also the summary on the later part. And that will make you a very good writer in terms of writing an explanation essay. I hope that you learned something from this video and if this is the first time that you visit my channel, you need to press the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. Again, my name is Aldred. This is Feed the Mind TV.